In this video, I'm going to explain how to develop and simulate our ALP for data transfer, arithmetic operation, and logical operation. First, I will do only data transfer program. After that, I'll show arithmetic and logical operation with the help of suitable program they are told. So I'm going to write a program to transfer block of five data from one location to another location. So I'm using Keel 5. I'm using RM80 LPC 2148. So any previous project, you have to close it, stop debugging of the old program. And I already created a new project. So I'll just repeat how I created. So you can create. Um, remove the file and you can click project and close project okay after that what you have to do i will repeat once again you have to go to project new microvision project then you can type one name for project okay for example project one it will automatically say with extension uv proj uv means microvision pro it is project so click OK. I already created now. It will ask for the project name is already exist. I will click okay. So, so it is going to replace with a new one. And you have to select uh, the order uh, and this select uh, device for target. I'm typing LPC. I'm typing LPC 1768 or 17 uh, 2148. No? You type search for LPC 2148. So it is available in the old version of Keel 4. So now if you want to try to download Keel 4, it is not available. So you have to do using LPC 1768 only. There is a different procedure. You refer my other videos for LPC 21, LPC 1768. So this is available only in the old version of Keel, which is a Keel Microvision 4th version. So it is available there. Click uh, select on this. You see the description in detail and click OK. So it will ask for copy starter file, click No. So click plus button in the target, right click on the source group and you can type add new item to the source group and select SMD file and type data transfer and you have to type the file. So if I click data, okay. So now you have to Type the program. So I already have typed the program. So I'll create data transfer program. So this is the program. So you have to type this program in the editor. So if you, if you add new item, that is, uh, and you have to give the file name. And it will open this. You have to click plus button, and if you double click, um, nothing will be there. You have to type the program. Okay, always you have to remember. Okay, the blue color, whatever blue is coming now, for that you have to give at least some space here, at least one character, one tab. Better you use one tab space or one one line or single character, at least one character space should be there. Don't start area like this. So you have to give space. Only labels, entry is a label, repeat is a label, stop is a label. For labels, you have to write like this. And if you declare any variables, that also you have to start without space. For all the keywords which are coming in uh, blue color, you should start at least one space or one tab, any one. Okay. Better you give one tab space. So, first line is a comment. Okay, you can give tab or without tab. It's of no use because it's a comment. So area, uh, the name of the area is data transfer. You can give any label, any name for this label area. And it is code memory and it is read only. So code memory is read only where you can only do read operation. You cannot write into this. So entry for uh, entry, you have to write in 2148. Okay. In LPC 1768, you have to do export underscore underscore main and you have to write a label as underscore underscore main. But here, that the two lines instead of the two lines you have to write only ENT or entry. So LDR or not with the address of source location. So this is the address of load or not with okay load 
are not with address of source location. Similarly, you have to load R1 with address of destination location. Okay, load R1 with R1 means there are eight registers, uh, twelve registers are there. You, have to, you can use any. So I am using R1 and R0. R0 for source location. R1 for destination. You have to use only these two locations because of uh, these two supports um, okay destination. We are using. Uh, R0, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, R8, R9, R10, R2, different registers are there. You better use R0, R1 only. And uh, since the block size you are storing in R2 register, so move R2 with okay, the array size, block of the, so uh, the block length. Okay. So I am transferring a block of 5 32-bit data, block of 5 32-bit data. So that if you if you want to transfer block of 10 data, 10 32-bit data, then you have to put move R2 hash 10. Okay. If you don't write a 0x, then it will consider as decimal. Okay. If you want to write decimal value, don't write anything. Okay. If you want to write hexadecimal value, you have to write 0x. Next label is repeat. LDR load R3 from within a bracket R0 load R3 within a bracket R0 hash 4. Okay, this will load. Okay, load R3 with content of address present in R0. So in the R0, we have Four followed by seven zero. Why I have taken four zero zero means so in uh, LPC one seven six eight you have to type one zero 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 zero. So one followed by seven zero. In LPC two one four eight, so you have to give the data starting from uh, four followed by seven zero. You can also write five or you can write six. Don't write less than three. Three followed by seven zero. So four zero zero is the minimum starting address you should to give here. Okay, and destination is. 4000 4 uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, last two digits are 50 okay next load r not now after after taking to the r not so there is a post increment is there after loading content of r not the address present in the r not that address content to the r3 so uh, r3 is 32 bit data size is 32 bit r not also 32 bit you can give 32 bit address the 32 bit address, address is present here. Okay. That content, 32 bit content will be loaded to R3. After that, R0 will be incremented by 4. Okay. After transfer, okay, R0 is equal to R0 plus 4. R0 will be incremented by 4. Similarly, okay. After loading to the R3, we have to store into the destination address. So you have to write STORE. Store. Okay. Store R3 content. Store R3 content into the address present into destination location is given in into address present in R1. R1 is actually having 400050. Okay, after that, here also post increment of hash 4. So, why it should be incremented by 4 only means it is a 32 bit. 32 bit means 4 bytes. So, 1 1 in that location, first 4 bytes are first 32 bit data next 4 bytes are second 32 bit data so in order to go to the next 32 bit data you have to increment by 4 32 bit means 4 bytes so that's why if you want to access 32 bit 32 bit 32 bit you have to give increment of 4 in the memory location so after that we transferred first data so 
so you have to have a counter of r2 as a counter it will keep track of how many data we transferred so decrement r not by subtract means subtract that is r2 is equal to r2 minus 1 so we subtracted r2 by 1 and destination is also r2 so r sub s means subtract s means update flag sub r2 r2 with immediate value of 1 okay r2 content is 5 5 minus 1 and again answer is stored in this r2 destination is r2 after that we are checking we updated the flag here sub s so now we have to check the flags so if it is not equal branch if not equal it means if zero flag is not equal not equal means zero if zero flag is not equal to label repeat branch to label label name is repeat if zero flag is not equal okay so this will repeat five times five times that will be the circumstance now i'm going to check so stop b stop means infinitely it will stay here only and last sentence is end so this is a program to transfer block of five 32 bit data from source location to destination location to save it and compare it so it is showing zero errors and zero warrants see here if i don't give any space here it will give error now see here it is giving error because i have not given any space for this so this is a common mistake people are going to do in a hurry you are not going to give any space here so if you give at least one space then you will not get any error okay similarly uh, any blue color if you give it will give error see now no errors now start debug so now very important step you have to give some data in the memory location before transfer so open memory window one okay click here open memory window one if you click one time it will go off one more time you see if you click it will come here you have to type 0x4 followed by 0x4 followed by seven zeros zero x four zero 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 so you should get four remaining are zero zero so by default uh, you are going to get unsigned care type okay you can right click here change it to unsigned long because lpc it is a 32 bit so unsigned long you have to select here you can give five data so right click and modify the memory location or uh, you can double click here only and you can type for example i am giving one 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 okay similarly i can type two 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 or you can also click the remaining data as four 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 four, four comma h you have to write hexadecimal five 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 h hexadecimal okay Three 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 h i have given in the first location because continue let it be continuous one one two two three three so now if you make a if you give extra digits it will not take if you give proper eight uh, digits it will take see one one two two three three four four five five which is present in this location see why you are given ash for here see first this is the okay first byte second byte third byte fourth byte so next data is two two starts from next after this four byte this is zero location zero one two three this is four five six seven zero one two three four five six seven three three starts from eight nine a b this is c if you want to see one only one you can drag this you can see here Try to do this here. You can see now. You have to adjust the width of this such that in 4000 we have this 1111 in 4004. So that's why hash 4 is given here. 
So first data starts from 4 followed by 7 zeros. Next it is 4, next 8, next C, next 10. So this data should transfer to the destination here. 4050 no. Here by default all our zeros are there. Here you can observe here. 50, 54, 5B, 5C, 5D. They are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So now this will transfer these five data, the block of five data will be moved to the destination location. Now let us execute this. So observe registers here. Okay. Every time it is going to get affected, it is going to highlight it with blue color. So move load R not with the address of this. Okay. Source location. Move load R1 with address of destination location. R2 is loaded with or moved with five data, five block size. So load R3. So R3 register observe here. It is initially zero. So R3 will be loaded with the content of R0 address is how much? Not you have for the here 111 is the data, 32 bit data that will be moved to the 32 bit data will be moved to the R3. After that, R0 will be incremented by 4. See, R0 is incremented by 4, R3 is loaded with the data which is present in the earlier this 4 old location. After that, R0 is updated by 4, addition of 4. Similarly, you have to store that from R3, you have to load it to the R1 address. In R1, we have destination at point. So, in the destination, you can see in the memory window 50. Okay. In the 50, it is 0, 0, 0 is there. It will, it will come to here again. R1 will be updated by 4. See, it is 54. And you can observe here, right side memory window, you observe here 51. In the 50 location, also 111 is coming. Okay. You can uh, see one more window also if you want. Or you can drag this such a way that you can see adjust like that. Okay. Mm. See, this is one 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 is coming here. So you can drag and we can make that uh, this should come in the You can adjust this, now it is coming here. It is coming here, 50. This is 0. This bit. This is it's coming here. In the same memory window only, you can see this location as well as this location. Now, decrement R2, it becomes 4, it is not equal to 0. You can check uh, uh, CPCS, current program status register, check the Z flag, it is 0. Current program status register. Okay. Next, uh, we can have negative zero flag, carry flag, overflow flag. Okay, interrupt. From everything you can observe. Again, next data two 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 will be loaded to the accumulator. Sorry, from R three it is loaded to R three. From R three it will be moved to the fifty one location. So second data also transferred from here. Is transferred once the data is read from the memory, it, it turns into red color. And once it is stored into this, it is coming some green, light green color here in the destination. So, this will repeat five times. So, last time I will show how the when the Z flag is set to one, you can see 4 4 is transferred. Okay, now last data will transfer 5 5. Now subtract R2. Okay. It is going to, it is not executed now. Sub S means update flag. Okay. Sub R2 by 1. So now observe the Z flag. See, Z flag is now highlighted with blue color. It is 1. If Z flag is not equal, then you have to go to the label, repeat. Else it will go to the next step, which is stop. Branch to the label stop. So stop label is in the, is in the same line. So it will stay there only. So it will not go to me. So how to verify the output? Before execution, you have to write this 4 followed by 7 zeros location. You have to write 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5 as the data. And in the destination, you have to show all the data as 0, 0, 0. And you have to write in the record 
after the execution source location is having the same data destination instead of zero it is actually having the copy of what are the data present in source location so one one is here two two here three three four four five five so this is our if you want to change the program for 10 datas so just change the move auto with the 10 if you want to transfer a block of 50 data just change this one to 50 okay so while writing you see that uh, you are giving decimal if you don't write 0x it is it will take as a decimal and uh, in the register it will show as equivalent it's a decimal value okay so thank you